hello friend welcome to my channel today we are going to see demonstration of checkbox and radio button for this purpose we are going to develop app for the traffic signal so using checkbox and radio button we are going to implement the traffic signal so for that let's start the design so to design we require first of all two checkbox and two image view so we are going to use two checkbox and two image view i'm going to change the name of checkbox one and id as well id i'm going to set ch1 and id of checkbox 2 is ch2 as well as i am going to change the name of checkbox 1 red and this is green as we are using the constant layout that is why we need to assign all the constant first of all i set constant for all component and place it according to my convenience so here we set all the constant of all the component so basically what we are going to do according to this checkbox button once i click on the this red checkbox here image of this image view gets changed to the green red and once i click on the green checkbox the image of this image view gets green so for that we require two images of signal you can directly download it from the internet and place it into driver folder so you can easily use them So this is red signal. And this is green signal, which we are going to use for the implementation of the traffic signal. So first of all, we complete the implementation of checkbox, and then we should go for the radio button. So now this part is completed. So now we are ready with the our design part. Now directly we move towards our coding part. So for coding, first declare all the component. once you complete the declaration initialize the component same for checkbox 2 and also for image view So here we are completed the initialization of all controls. Now apply set on click listener event on the checkbox, and according to on click listener event you do your coding. For that I am going to implement ch1 dot set on click listener. here now you have to just write the code so what we are going to do if if i am going to check 
check box then at that time signal becomes according to its name like if i am click on the red check box then signal of that check box becomes red according to its image so for that i am going to do this coding if chk1 dot each checker not chk it is ch1 dot each checker property is there we are going to check that property and according to its property we are going to write the code so if it is checked then we are going to set image for image box 1 as a green so iv1 dot set background resources is method is there r dot driver and the image of red like this so using this code we are set the red signal image to the particular image view and same code we are going to implement for the checkbox 2 so if we click on the green checkbox then simply we change the codes like this chk ch2 is second checkbox and for that we just set the image of green so change the image only with that we are going to display some messages over here using toast alert so toast dot make text method is there get application context set your message like this is for the red red signal so that is why i am going to write the message stop then mention the length so length is post dot length long and show method is there to show the alert so if i click on the red checkbox then the signal becomes red and the message show stop and if i click on the green checkbox the signal becomes green and show message go like this so this is the simple implementation of the checkbox so just run the application and see your see the output now see the application is successfully deployed into the emulator so check the output if i click on the red checkbox signal becomes red see and if i am going to click on green checkbox signal becomes green and message is go go message and green signal so like this you can easily implement the traffic signal using checkbox now we are completed the implementation of checkbox now we should go for the radio button and radio group so for that first of all we require radio group and two radio buttons
so this is your radio group and in this radio group you have to place your radio button so it is necessary to put your buttons radio buttons into radio group because if you want to select any one button from the available buttons so you should place all the radio buttons into radio group so take next radio button so this this is your radio button first i just change the id rdb1 and second radio button id is rdb2 also i change the name of this radio button as well this is red and this is green So here some duplication occur so for that i just change the name red 1 and to avoid redundancy green 1 so also just fixes warning messages now take one another image view set the constraint also need to set constraint for this image view we are completed the constraint just remove some warnings so now this is your design part now we should go for the coding part so in coding part similar as we done it in a uh, check box same code we so for coding first of all initialize the new controls and then radio buttons for coding we just require same coding as we do for the check box so here rdb1 dot set on click listener view and same code we repeat over here as well like this if rdb1 dot he checked rdb1 dot he checked so what it does he checked the method returns the status of that control whether it is checked or it is unchecked so according to its status we set the code so if it is checked then set the image for iv3 now iv3 dot set background resource here we are going to set image r dot drivers and this is for uh, red so here we are set the image red okay and same code we are going to implement for the green radio button so green radio button id is rdb2 and rdb2 is checked then we are going to set green image in a same image view so here just we change the image and if you want to show the messages just copy and paste these messages as well so here stop and here
Go. So here we have completed the coding part for the radio group as well. So just run the application. See application is successfully deployed in the emulator. Check the output. Once I click on the red. See this. A red signal is on. And I click on the green. Green signal is on.